All right, you guys, if you could please turn to um, 1.7, perimeter, circumference, and area. We're going to be going over some formulas. Most of these formulas are probably already uh, familiar to you, but if not, that's all right. The perimeter of a square. All right, now, hopefully you guys all know that a square is uh, a four-sided figure where all the sides are equal. Okay, so if this side is 3 inches and this side is also 3 inches, 3 inches, 3 inches. So the perimeter will just be 4 times whatever the length of one side is. So if this side is 3, 4 times 3, the perimeter would be 12. The area is just one side squared. So once again, if one side is 3, the area would be 3 times 3, which is 9. All right, now, if you have a rectangle, the perimeter is just going to be 2 times the length plus 2 times the width. And the area would be length times width. Okay? All right, now, with a triangle, the perimeter is pretty much the same as the square and the rectangle. You're just going to be adding all the sides together. Okay? The area, however, is going to be one half base to be times height. The base is going to be the bottom, and the height is going to be from the peak, making a right angle with the base. We'll do some examples of this. All right, for a circle, the circumference, which is basically the the perimeter of a circle, is going to be two pi r. R is the radius which is the distance from the center to the side. The area is pi r squared. <coughs> All right, let's do an example. The inbounds portion of a single tennis court is shown. Find the perimeter and the area. Okay, so we have this rectangle. The perimeter of a rectangle, once again, is 2 times the length plus 2 times the width. We know that the length is 78. And we know that the width is 27. 2 times 78. If you can do that in your head, great. If not, no worries. It's 156. And 2 times 27. Fifty-four. One fifty-six plus fifty-four. Two ten. Okay, now the area is length times width, so we've got 78 times 27. Uh, that's 56, carry the 5, 49 plus 5 is 54. So, 2,106. So, the perimeter is 210 feet, and the area is 2,106 feet squared. Okay, notice that the perimeter is always going to be regular units, and the area is always going to be square units. All right, you guys go ahead and try this one. Let's go on to page two. Example two, the smallest circle on an Olympic target is 12 centimeters in diameter. Find the approximate circumference and area of the smallest circle. Okay, so we have this circle that is 12, 12 centimeters in diameter. Now diameter is the distance all the way across the circle. So if the whole thing is 12, this has got to be 6 and 6, which means the radius is 6. Okay? Six centimeters. So we can find the circumference and area. Two pi r. Two pi. We're going to use three point one four. And r is six. Okay. Let's pull out a calculator. Okay. So two times three point one four times six. We've got thirty seven point sixty eight approximately. Okay, and this is centimeters. Okay, the area is 
times 6 squared. So you can pull out the calculator. 3.14 times 6 times 6. 113.04. And this is centimeters squared. Make sure that the area is squared and the perimeter is just regular centimeters. All right, you guys can do this one on your own. Make sure you're doing these checkpoints. Example three, triangle um, JKL has vertices. One, six. One, six is going to be about one, two, three, four, five, six, about here. This is J. Six, six, that would be like here. It's K. And three, two. That's L. Find the, the approximate perimeter of JKL. Okay, so here's our triangle. The perimeter is just going to be the sides added together. Okay? So, because JK is horizontal, use the ruler postulate to find JK. Use the distance formula to find the other two sides. So here we can basically just count to see what this distance is. But these two we're going to have to use the distance formula to find. Okay, so for JK this here, this is 6 and this is 1, so JK is going to be 6 minus 1 which is 5. This is 5 units. JL is going to be 3 minus 1 squared because we have 3 and 1 for our x's and 2 minus 6 squared because we have 2 and 6 for our y's. Okay? So let's see here. 3 minus 1 is 2. 2 squared plus 2 minus 6 is 4 or negative 4 rather. Negative 4 squared. So we have 4 plus 16 which is 20. So in the square root, we've got the square root of 20. Let's pull out the calculator again. All right. The square root of 20 is 4.47, approximately. OK, so JL, 4.47. OK, LK, we're going to do pretty much the same thing. We've got 6 minus 3 squared plus 6 minus 2 squared. Um, 6 minus 3 is 3 squared, 6 minus 2 is 4 squared, we've got 9 plus 16, which is 25. The square root of 25, of course, is 5. So, now we have the lengths of all three sides. So the perimeter is just to add all three sides together. JK in the diagram is 5, JL, 4.47. And um, LK is 5. So this is going to be 14.47 units. All right, let's go on to page 3. <clears throat> okay, you are using a roller to smooth a lawn. You can roll about 125 square yards in one minute. About how many minutes does it take to roll a lawn that is um, 120 feet long and 75 feet wide? All right, so... You can roll the lawn at a rate of 125 square yards per minute. So the amount of time it takes you to roll the lawn depends on its area. Okay? So the first thing we need to do is we need to find the area of the rectangular lawn. We know it's a rectangle. Okay? I'll draw a picture. We're given that it's 120 feet long and 75 feet wide. So length times width is going to be 120 times 75. Pull out the calculator again. So about 9,000 square feet. Okay, the rolling weight, the rolling rate is in square yards per minute. So I'm going to rewrite the area. <coughs> of the lawn in square yards. There are three feet in one yard. Okay? 
three squared is nine square feet in one square yard. Okay, so there are three feet in one yard. There's nine square feet in one square yard because three squared is nine. Okay? So, 9,000 feet squared. We know that there's nine square feet in one square yard. So, this is 1,000 square yards. Okay, so we know that the area of the lawn is going to be equal to the rate, the rolling rate, times however long it takes for us to, um, to do the whole lawn. We know the area of the lawn is a thousand square yards. The rolling rate, we already know, is 125 um, yards, uh, square yards per minute. We don't know the time. So this is our equation. I'm going to divide each side by 125. Okay, let's pull out the calculator again. It's going to take us about eight minutes to roll the lawn. All right. Okay, one more page. Okay, the base of a triangle is 24 feet. Its area is 216 square feet. Find the height of the triangle. Now, as you hopefully remember, the area of a triangle is one half base times height. Okay? We're given that the area is 216. And we know that the base is 24. So I'm, going to, I'm just going to substitute what I know. 216, half of 24 is 12. Now I'm going to divide both sides by 12. 216 divided by 12. Let's get out the calculator again. H is 18. So the height is 18 feet. All right. Make sure you get. Make sure you guys do these three checkpoint problems, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.